The entire Canterbury region is under a state of emergency as wild weather continues to cause havoc. The worst affected areas are parts of Mid Canterbury and the Selwyn district. Ashburton's mayor is describing the chaos as a one in 200 year event. Three bridges in the town have collapsed and officials are watching rising river levels there. And in recent hours it has been confirmed the Selwyn River has breached its banks below State Highway 1. All the Selwyn huts have now been evacuated and some homes in nearby Springfield have also been cut off. We'll cross live to Ashburton in a moment, but first Lauren Hendrickson begins our coverage. The normally calm Ashburton River, now a raging torrent. The rising flood levels threatening to breach its banks. If it breaks the banks where we don't want it to break the banks where we're watching, it'll head into the town of Ashburton and uh, there'll be a couple of thousand people affected if that happened. Officials are closely monitoring the situation as rain continues to hammer the region. I've never seen it this high before. Uh, I think this is a one in a 200 year flood, if not more. Canterbury remains under a state of emergency. All residents in low-lying areas of the Pines Beach are being told to evacuate immediately. And hundreds of people across Waimakariri and Selwyn were forced to flee their homes overnight. About 700 people, a little over 300 properties in, two, in those two areas here in, uh, in the Canterbury region were moving people last night. A code red alert has been put in place by Met Service. It's only the second time it has ever been issued at that level. More than 50 schools are closed in Canterbury and dozens of roads, including key state highways, have been blocked off due to slips and flooding. I was trying to get my ferry up and picked in at quarter to, uh, quarter to six tonight. The security guard pulled up here at about 6am and said that nothing would possibly be closed all day. Just the main outlet out of Tamuka now, so basically Tamuka's cut off from Timaru. The Acting Minister for Emergency Management, Chris Farfoy, says people will need to be patient as officials work to get things back to normal. And there's a multitude of local uh, road closures, so there's going to be some disruption for at least a couple more days um, while uh, the rain settles down and we get an idea of um, the damage that is done. And in a new development, a warning to avoid all contact with floodwaters in Ashburton. It comes after a wastewater treatment facility flooded. Officials say they've been lucky no lives have been lost. A region on standby, hoping that luck remains on their side. Lauren Hendrickson, News Hub. Well, Emily O'Connell joins us now live from Ashburton. Emily, what are conditions like there this morning? Good morning, Mitch. Conditions are starting to clear here in Ashburton after another wet and windy morning. There's still concern about the Ashburton River and whether it will burst its banks. If it does, up to 4,000 residents would be forced to evacuate their homes. OK, Emily, what's the latest news coming out of North Canterbury this morning? Yeah, well, hundreds of uh, residents in North Canterbury have had to evacuate both overnight and again this morning. But there is good news on its way. I was speaking to Met Service earlier. They say the rain is supposed to ease later today. And that red warning that they put in place over the weekend is set to lift at 7pm. Emily O'Connell live from Ashburton. Emily, thank you very much. And Ashburton's Mayor Neil Brown joins us now live on the programme. Neil, thank you for your time this morning. Neil, are evacuations in Ashburton still possible? Yes, they are still possible. Uh, the river is still flowing at the highest it's ever been recorded flowing. Uh, it has dropped a little bit, but not enough to make any difference. Uh, we've still got uh, evacuations on alert. People should be ready to go if need be. But at this stage, we're not evacuating anyone. OK, that is good news. Neil, can you describe the pressure on infrastructure in the region? We heard you on the AM show this morning talking about the fact that a number of bridges have collapsed. What's the situation there? Yeah, we've got 19 roads in the district closed and there's been three bridges which have been damaged or washed away. We've got crews out at the moment looking at our roads. Now it's daylight looking at the roads and seeing uh, what further damage has been done overnight. Mm. OK, Neil, Ashburton is obviously an important farming region. Last night we saw pictures on the news of farmers trying to rescue their stock. Have there been stock losses as far as you're aware and how are farmers coping at the moment? I've heard of some stock losses, but uh, nothing's been confirmed. Uh, but the wet and the cold always put stress on the farmers, but they're doing an amazing job out there keeping their stock fed and watered. Well, they probably don't need water. There's plenty of that around. But um, they're doing an amazing job, and, and we've got to take our hats off to what they're doing. They're looking after their stock and keeping them all alive. All right, now we appreciate your time, and good luck for the response in the coming days.